Welcome, everybody. Oh, flew all the way down here for this. That's so great. Camera guy. Oh, man, this is great. Hey, let's give it up for our announcer. That was awesome. That was so great. Thank you. So good. And uh, for all our stage hands who put together this just lovely thing. This is great. They, they didn't want to be recognized, so we won't, we won't yeah, tell Yeah, it was us. We did it. OK. Um, we did it. Sweet. Uh, we need two people up here, don't we? We do. These were uh, hand-selected, uh, very highly, yeah. highly sought-after individuals. You know them, and you love them. Let's bring up Emily Kane and Heath Ford. Come on up, guys. Oh. Hey, thanks for doing this. You're a good man. <laughs> oh. Truly a delight to have both Emily, of you. you. Heath. Yeah. A light. A light. Thank you. It was great. Well, uh, you guys can have a seat. Mm, wow. Have a seat. Quite nice. In, in. You yeah, want to be you're in. You're going to sit right. You want to yep. sit in it. You're going to sit in. They, it, uh, they have no idea what's about to happen. Okay. No idea. Um, so you're going to want to put no these idea. goggles on. Yeah, you're, here's your goggles. Yeah, I would put them on. Don't ask why. Uh, uh, he, I, Heath's our Nemo. So. If you like seeing. Um, on is good. Bleach doesn't stain, right? What? Put, put your goggles on. Okay. Um, okay. So this game is called Cooler Heads. It's a very fun game. Uh, we made it up. We kind of, yeah, with a little help from Jimmy Fallon. Okay. So um, how this game's going to work is the two of you, Emily and Heath, are going to be asked questions. And, oh, are they tight? Yeah, sorry. They, I think they're children's. They're ages. children's? Yeah, okay. It's like ages three to eight. We uh, didn't have a lot of money. So, um, I'm going to ask you a question. If you get it right, Emily will have something dumped on her head. If you, if you, right? Yeah, give it up for Emily. Yeah. Oh, so great. If you get it wrong, you will have something dumped on your head. No way, yeah. Who saw that coming? All right. Um, Emily, I'm going to ask you questions also. If you get them right, he, yeah, OK, you get it, OK. But if you get them wrong, yeah, you. OK, sweet. Yikes. Great, Yikes. OK. Um, what, are the, what are the questions about? Well, the questions are about Florida. So we wanted to, we wanted to introduce. Can you, can you just tell us like a little bit about yourself, like where you went to school, where you grew up, and any pertaining classes that you took about these kind of questions? Yeah, hi. Well, I'm from, uh, uh, no, I'm from, so, I'm, my name's Heath. I'm from the panhandle of Florida. Yeah, so I, I grew up in Niceville, Florida, which used to be Boggy Bayou but they wanted to attract tourists. This is not a joke. So they renamed it Niceville. I went to Florida State University. And the, what class did you take there? I took a class on Florida history. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I'm from Florida. Uh, Emily, why don't, you, uh, why don't you tell us how long you've lived in Florida? Yeah, just a couple months now. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where do you hail from? I'm from Minnesota. Hey, Minnesota! So someone's gonna win this game. Emily, have you have you taken any classes on Florida history? No, but my grandfather did used to vacation here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. That'll help. Okay. That helps. Yep. yep, yep that yep. helps. I see no problems with that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we I think we just go. I think we, Are you guys I think ready? We're to start. Are you guys ready? Okay. Um, as the Florida native. I am standing right in the light, and that's very bright. We will let you go first. Are you ready? Yeah, you can look at it. I don't think it has the answers. That'd be awkward. OK. <sighs> Heath, a native Floridian, Dr. John Gorey, Gorey, 
was a physicist in the early 19th century credited for inventing the first refrigerator. What was his father's occupation? A, a factory worker. B, a mortician. C, a naval officer. Or D, a pastor. Florida's got a lot of water. I, in my, my childhood, I didn't ever learn Dr. John Gorey's father's occupation. I didn't even hear about him. But we're going to go with C. Have you used a refrigerator? I have. It was invented in Apalachicola, Florida. Fun fact. But you don't know by who? Well, now you do, but... Okay, C. All right. Let's, uh, uh, let's ask the audience. I'm going to uh, just come on down here, right here in this crowd. Anyone think they know the answer? You guys can come on out and get ready. All right, let's see. Who should I pick on? Oh, okay. Oh. Let's ask, uh, let's ask Brother Austin. Now we're in the Bible Belt, so I'm going to go D. D, Pastor. You're going to go D, Pastor. Uh, is, that, <laughs> is that your final answer? That is, ma'am. All right, let's see. Let's All right, see what happens. Men, raise the buckets above their heads. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, Heath, you got it right. Great job, Good job, Heath. Heath. Good job. Good job. Give it up for Heath, everybody. <laughs> Emily, how, how are you feeling? Oh, you want a snack? Oh. The carrot cake was so good, though. Oh, yeah. You guys have that? Oh, so good. Okay, um, do you think you would have gotten that question right? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't have either. It's okay. Okay. Well, do you want a chance for a rebuttal? Okay, great. Well, we'll go to question two. Which of these colleges is not in Florida? <clears throat> the options are A. University of Central Florida. B, University of Southern Florida. C, Florida State University. Or D, your alma mater, Benedictine College. First, I'll say Ravens will soar. <laughs> the answer. D. D. Are you sure? Are you sure? Not in Florida. D. Benedictine College. Are you positive? Yeah, I, I don't want to dump things on you. Are you sure? D. D. Okay. Okay. D. 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 Okay. 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 Sure. Hope she's right. Wow, it's really sticky. This was an oversight. Okay. Um, that sucks. Sorry, stage. Okay. <clears throat> uh, bucket men, please come out. I'm gonna just stand over here. I have a sneaking suspicion. Three, two, one. Who got it right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Emily, I, I think you got it right. No, don't, don't take those off. You, <laughs> it's gonna get worse. Can we get this man a towel? Yeah. yeah. That's our, that's our stage okay, hand. Okay, it's washable glue. It's washable glue. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh. Heath, would you, do you think you would have gotten that question right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay, so okay, we'll give you another one. We'll give you another one. Oh, that's, that's sticky too. Oh, geez, this is sticky. <laughs> okay, true story. When I was at the store buying this stuff, I thought it said goop. And then I was, as I was pouring into the bucket, I said, oh, this has glue. <laughs> and then we just went for it. But so. it's washable, you washable. think. Washable, don't worry about it. It's, it's pink. You can't make non-washable pink glue. All right, who would do that? That's insane. You look like a pretty glue girl. <laughs> um, okay, 
Are you ready for your next question? I feel like this is stacked. Not at all. Shut up. Okay. Heath, who was Florida's 18th governor? A. Napoleon B. Broward. D. Albert W. Gilchrist. C. Sidney Johnston Katz, who's a dude, in case you're wondering, but women governors are awesome. And D. William Sherman Jennings. <laughs> you don't look great. Uh, well, three of these are buildings at FSU, Broward, Gilchrist, and Jennings. Did not know that. <laughs> uh, I think I, I forget. No, nah, no, nah, I'm going with Gilchrist. It has Gilchrist, yes. Good let's uh, let's Good ask answer. our audience. Okay. He said B. <clears throat> wrong answer. Gilchrist. <clears throat> okay. Should we, uh, should we pull the is? crowd? Let's see who I want to ask. I put the goggles back on. I'm going to step back over here. Anyone feeling like they Just might in know? Case. Who do I want to pick on? How's Nathan doing back here? <laughs> what, what do you think, Nathan? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with uh, William Sherman Jennings. William Sherman Jennings. Only time know. will tell. All right, Bu let, it, let it happen. Are you ready? Three, two, one, dump. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to guess what that concoction is? If anyone can guess what that is, you can have my wallet. <laughs> it is not cheese. Also, you can't have my wallet. That was a bad idea. Yes. Is it like a cereal mixture? Uh, it's not cereal mixture. You're very close. It's, it's, it's Cheeto balls mixed with water, and I crushed them up with a stick. It was very fun. I loved it. <laughs> Emily, uh, how, are you, how are you feeling about it right now? It smells very bad. It smells bad. Poor Heath. He's just not very smart, you know? Emily, you've, you've dodged some bullets. Big, big old bullets. You dodged all of them. I don't, well, I don't know what you say after that. Um, good, nice dodge moves. I like that. That was very good. Um, are, are you ready for your question? Okay. Oh, sorry. The answer was D. Nathan was right. W William Jennings. I was really worried that you might get it right. Yeah. All right. Emily, shut up, Heath. Okay. Heath knows a lot more than we thought. <laughs> Emily, which rap artist's name also spells Florida? Is it A, Nicki Minaj? Is it B, Jay-Z? Is it C, Flo Rida? Or D, Lil Wayne? Um, I, I feel that um, my intelligence is being insulted. <laughs> but I'm very grateful. And it's, it's C, C. C, Flo Rida. Bucket men. Bring out the buckets. Three, two, one. Oh, it was kind of one unit, huh? <laughs> uh, see, it's not, it's not wet, though, so it's better. Look. Awesome. OK. Heath, uh, how are you feeling? Man, Easter came early. What a... <laughs> yeah, he's risen. Look at that. All right. Heath will give you an opportunity, opportunity to, to even the score. Right? You, you have an opportunity to even the score. No, I, I mean, you're right, you don't, because she is, she is up by two. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, OK. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Sit back. <laughs> it's really delightful. You want a you want a cocktail? A mocktail? <laughs> Can we? Uh, are you ready for your question, Heath? What? Are you ready for your question? He, Heath, you look like yes. you're in bad shape, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Can we move to the next question, please? So 
which, which one of these Florida man news stories is not true? For those of you who don't know, when anyone unnamed in Florida does something, they just call him Florida man, and then they just release that as news, because it's Florida. Um, all right, A. A Walmart was evacuated after Florida man was found crawling through the ceiling. B. Florida man was arrested at a Petco for hiding fish in his pants. C. Florida man threatens to destroy everyone with his army of turtles. <laughs> or D. Florida man attacks jogger with sword over pile of trash. Three of these are real. <laughs> One of them is incorrect. What does that say about Florida? I don't know. So I know, I know C is real. I remember reading that on the news. <laughs> uh, the boys are saying B. The boys are saying B. We're going. Never mind. All right, all y'all stop. All right, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I got. Nothing can get worse. Yeah, I got something to lose here. Uh, um. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I've heard of a sword one before. Uh, uh, no, nah, B sounds too likely. <laughs> We're going with A. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, let's pull the audience. Let's pull the audience. Do this one last time. Yeah, you. Yeah, give Heath some goggles. God bless him. He's a real champ. Let's see. No, nah, you'll who, be fine. Who might? Who thinks they know this answer? <laughs> Any, anyone? Oh, you knew the last one, so. Let's, uh, let's go, let's, let's see, uh, oh, this is a familiar face back here. I think we know you. How are you, Gordy? Pleasure. Heath answered A, a Walmart evacuated. You were trying to hide? Man found no chance. Through I, could, I could spot you a mile away. It's that winning smile. So what do you think the answer is? Well, well this requires that I was paying attention. Cool. You weren't, you weren't paying attention? It's all right, it's okay, he's, he's a busy man. I think the right answer is uh, A. A. Wow, all right. A, Walmart evacuated after Florida man found crawling through the ceiling? No, I changed my mind, B. B, is this your final answer? Uh, no. <laughs> Gordy, you got, you got one chance. B, B. B. Final answer. Final answer, Florida man final arrested answer, at a Petco for hiding fish in his pants. Let's see. Survey says, bucket men in three, two, one. That was just in case Emily got another one right. All right, <clears throat> or Emily got another one wrong, or you got another one right. I don't remember how it works. No, you got it wrong, you were wrong. The answer was B, Florida man arrested at a Petco, no one, no one does that, that's never happened. Well, everyone, uh, I believe that is our game. We're out of gross stuff to dump, and we're definitely out of questions. So thank you guys so Woo, much. Thanks, everyone. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. Give it up for our bucket men. And give it up for our contestants. And our contestants. Excellent work. You're very intelligent. You did, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. You cool. You did great. How about a hug? I'm kidding. All right. Um, yeah, you can go down that way. We got some plastic. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.